Hello learners, welcome to NIS studio. Myself Dr. Neelam Tyagi, Assistant Professor, Campus Law Center, Faculty of Law, University of Delhi. Today we are going to discuss the second part of lesson number 15 which is derived from your senior secondary course on introduction to law. So we will be discussing today the alternative dispute resolution part 2. In the first part we discussed the problems which are inherent in the formal litigation system, why there is a need for ADR mechanisms, what are the salient feature of ADR mechanisms, uh, what are the various techniques of ADR a dispute resolution mechanism and what are the salient feature of each of these techniques. We also focused on um, the various hybrid forms of or hybrid techniques of ADR uh, dispute resolution mechanism and we learned about the importance of ADR mechanism. Today we are going to focus on the role of legal service authorities and we will also be discussing the legal service authorities act. Uh, which is amended in 1994. So before we discuss the salient feature of the Legal Service Authorities Act, it is important for us to know that what motivated us to bring this act in force. So we have the Constitution of India which under Article 39A states that no person shall be devoid of justice merely due to poverty or any other disqualification. We have article 14 also, we have article 21 also which says that you know every person should be given an opportunity or a right to obtain justice and just because a person is poor he should not be deprived of this right. So we have this law which was enacted in 1987. This is known as the Legal Service Authorities Act of 1987. It was amended in 1994 and the act lays down the detailed provision for legal services. So if you look at the salient feature of this act, it is you know creating various kind of authorities and committees under its provision. It is providing for the establishment of legal aid fund, provides for the free legal aid, states that how the Lok Adalat should be constituted and for, for what all cases the permanent Lok Adalat will be functioning which they majorly provide for the public utility services. So we will be picking up each of these salient features and we will be discussing that what are they all about. So the first salient feature of the uh, act is the creation of National Legal Service Authority. So we have to look at chapter number 2 that is concerning the creation of the National Legal Service Authority. Section 3 of the act talks about the constitution of the National Legal Service Authority. It says that the central authority shall be comprising of the Chief Justice of India who shall be the patron in chief. There will be an executive chairman, there will be few members and a member secretary. Now what will be the function of the National Legal Service Authority? They will lay down policies and principles, frame schemes, utilize the fund, organize legal aid camp, encourage the settlement of dispute by way of negotiation, arbitration, undertake and promote research. They will monitor and evaluate the implementation of the legal aid program. They will provide grant and aid for specific schemes. They will be spreading legal literacy and legal awareness and they will coordinate and monitor the functioning of all the concerned authorities. So the first authority which is constituted under the act is the National Legal Service Authority and it is going to undertake a lot of the function which we have just discussed. The second authority which is constituted under the act is uh, mentioned in chapter number 3. This is concerning the state legal service authority. Section 6, 7 and 8 discuss the, the creation of the uh, state legal service authority. Section 6 is about the constitution of the authority at the state level and it says that the chief justice of high court who sh shall be the patron in chief, there will be an executive chairman, there will be members and a member secretary. The function of the state legal service authority is to give effect to the policy and direction of this central authority give legal service to people who satisfy the criteria which is laid down under this act. We have to look at section 12 for this and to conduct Lok Adalat's undertake legal aid program. Section 8 states that the state authority will act in coordination with the other agencies etc. and will be subject to directions which are given by the central authority. In this chain, the third authority which is created is the district legal service authority. Uh, it will be constituted for every district in the state. It will be comprising of a district judge who shall be the chairman, there will be other members and a secretary who will be constituting the committee. The this function of the district legal service authorities are mentioned in section 10. It states that the district legal service authority will coordinate the activities of the taluk legal service committee and other legal uh, services in the district. It will organize 
is Lok Adalat within the district and will be performing such other function as a state authority may fix for regulation. Section 11 says that again the district authority will be acting in coordination with other agencies and will be subject to directions which are given by the central authority. Next we have these three committees which are constituted that is the Supreme Court Legal Aid Committee, High Court Legal Aid Committee and the District or the Block Legal Service Committee. Now Section 3A discuss the creation of Supreme Court Legal Aid Committee for the organization of legal adalat, uh, legal aid to the eligible parties uh, and the presiding judge of the Supreme Court will be the chairman of the Supreme Court Legal Aid Committee. Next we have uh, the High Court Legal Aid Committee which is prescribed under Section 8A and it says that the function of the High Court Legal Aid Committee will be to organize Lok Adalat, implement the legal aid and legal service program and its chairman will be the judge of the High Court. Next we have the District Block Legal Service Committee which is mentioned under Section 11A and it says that the district or the block legal service committee uh, will be coordinating between the legal service related event in blocks, will be organizing local adalat and will be performing such acts which are submitted to the district legal service authority from time to time. Its chairman will be the senior civil judge of the area. Next we have something called the legal aid fund which is established under section 15, 16 and 17 of the act. So we have this fund which is going to fulfill all the expenses which are incurred by the national state or district legal aid uh, authority relating to the legal aid services and the uh, other expenses. Next we have the concept of free legal aid provided under the act. As I told you the main purpose of the act is to provide free legal aid to weaker section of the society and for the achievement of this purpose we have section 12 of the act which is prescribing the criteria you know which need to be fulfilled before we provide free legal service to any person. So we have to look at section 12 and section 13 which is giving the detail about the person who are entitled to free legal aid. Now this is a very good provision which you should be reading properly from the act. Next uh, we have Another technique of ADR which is known as Lok Adalat. Now this is one of the most popular form of ADR. During the process the conciliation technique is utilized. The idea of providing Lok Adalat is to provide less expensive and speedy justice. The larger idea is to or the main purpose of constituting Lok Adalat is to diminish the pendency of cases in the court. The statutory recognition to this concept is given under the act. and. Uh, that is the Legal Service Authority Act of 1987 and please remember if any compromise or settlement is arrived between the parties after the finalization of the proceedings at the Lok Adalat, the entire court fee which was paid when the case was filed in the court, that entire court fee will be refunded to the parties. For making Lok Adalat a reality, there are these camps which are organized from time to time all over India and the financial assistance is received from the government of India. The entire proceedings are monitored by the judiciary. So if we look at the Legal Service Authorities Act, the act is according legal status to the Lok Adalat that is one of the technique of ADR. There are these important sections which we need to look to know more about the organization of Lok Adalat, the working of Lok Adalat, or what will be the nature of the award which is given by the Lok Adalat, whether it will be deemed to be a decree of the court. And then we have section 22 which is discussing the powers of the Lok Adalat. So these are very important section which we should be knowing to know more about uh, the concept of Lok Adalat. Again there is this very important concept which is added in chapter 6a by the amendment in 2002. It is talking about the pre-litigation conciliation and settlement uh, that is the mechanism of uh, solving the dispute by way of settlement. But please remember for pre-litigation conciliation and settlement only the issues concerning public utility services are fit for reference. Now what are these public utility services? For this we need to look at section 22a which is defining the concept of public utility services. So anything which is concerning transport service, postal, telegraph, supply of power, light or water, service in hospital or dispensary or insurance service and other can be referred to this mechanism because they are in the nature of public utility services. Next we have section 22b of the act which says that there should be permanent local adalat which should be established 
and then we have section 22c which says that the cognizance of cases which lists down the procedure for cognizance of cases by the permanent lok adalat so learners i hope all of you are clear with the concept of legal aid uh, the concept of lok adalat what are the authorities and committees which are constituted for real making uh, the concept of lok adalat a reality thank you